Hey there, kids. So today we are going to try the new Cheetos mac and cheese. There's also a uh, jalapeno version. Something tells me it won't be that much of a difference, but I'll try this later. Probably won't do a video about it unless it's just spectacular, but let's go with the basic mac and cheese. Cheetos mac and cheese. Bold and cheesy. Something tells me this isn't going to be any different than regular old mac and cheese. But you know, I like my Spicoli 2020. I can fix it shirt. I can fix it. Gotta get the old measuring cup out. There's one cup. Got Chef here with me to help out. That's right, children. Got Mr. Bacon here watching, watching things. Make sure I do it right. You gotta have your friends with you when you're cooking. All right, there. Ooh, there we go. I like that shit. Six cups of water. It's a lot of water. My milk of choice. Can't get these no more. They took her off. I don't know why. I don't see anything racist about this. A cute Indian girl. I see absolutely nothing offensive about that. But they've removed her. According to this, we gotta boil this and then stir in the pasta. So we gotta wait for this to boil. Okay, so I was just reading the directions again. I realized I screwed up. I put the butter and the milk in first. So it's actually gonna be boiling with the water, which I don't really think it's gonna make a difference because you gotta drain it anyway. So, you know, I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. So I'll drain that and then I'll put in the butter and the uh, milk when I'm, when I'm putting in the seasoning. Almost out of boil there, so we're gonna put in the uh, pasta. Pouch of powdery, cheesy goodness. And then here's uh, the pastas, a little curly pastas. That's not a good sign. Don't do that. Don't do that at home, kids. Don't let that happen. Watching this bad boy boil. Let's face it, you guys don't really care about seeing me cook the shit. So I'm gonna really rip through that part. A lot of fast motion kind of stuff to get right to what you care about. Does it taste any good? Almost there. Now I'm gonna drain it into this bad boy. The thing. A big bowl like this, I wanna have plenty of room to mix. I'm going to put the butter in the bowl first, pour this on top of it. That way, it starts melting the butter. See if that butter's melted yet? It's getting there. I see it. I see it melting. Pour it in, like so. Do a little layer. Then I'm going to pour some milk. I'm going to give that a little mix. I will say that the powdered cheese is extremely orange, like, like Cheetos. A very good orange color to it. Very good orange color. Like here, check this out. Look at me, look at the, look at the. Man, it looks like Trump's face. I mean, it's, it's orange. It's like legit. Huh? Give it a good mix. Gotta mix that stuff up good. Smells great. Pretty excited. I'm hungry, actually. I think I'm ready to give it a shot. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Let's try it. Hmm. 
Damn, I like it. It's um It definitely has a Cheeto-y cheesy flavor to it. It does. I, I expected it to just be generic mac and cheese with a fucking Cheetos logo on the box. But it's uh Hmm. Yeah. Wow. I would buy this again, for sure. If I was going to get mac and cheese, I'd go with this. I'm loving this. This is good. This gets a big thumbs up for me. I just made the jalapeno. Going to give that a try as well. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, it's got a kick to it, as expected. Tastes good, but definitely got a kick. I'm not a big fan of super spicy. I much more prefer the regular cheese, but I will polish this with a lot of water. Bonus footage.